The um, special, uh, Dr. Evers, as we said, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday at 8 uh, Eastern, 7 Central, we'll have a special call in a special program uh, on Health 360 hosted by my colleague Renee Shaw, Answers for Cancer, and there will be experts in the studio to answer questions Great. that people have, and I'm sure there will be a, a lot of them. Uh, just from the trailer um, that we just saw, um, so many emotions, highs and lows, uh, but to me, and I know that, that it's not always a positive spin, but you see it and live it every day. I mean, just that one statement about so many oncologists leaving practice because uh, of what they deal with. Right, right. Well, I, that was a very powerful segment, but, but it gets back to, but, but I also saw a lot of enthusiasm in that segment. Mm -hmm. I saw excitement, and, and it, it's what we spoke about uh, uh, earlier. It's being able to, to be in the field long enough to see the changes, to see the excitement that new drugs, new discoveries, new ways of, of dealing with cancer that, that we didn't know 20 years ago. So that's the exciting part. Do you... Um just in Kentucky, for example, with, with, with lung cancer, um, how do you go about the research there? Uh, not, not only the causal, but the, but the cure or, or the hope that you can give people that, that battle it. Again, um, lung cancer leads the nation, Kentucky does, right. Uh, right. a 50% mortality rate. Absolutely. Absolutely. So really, it's, it's a continuum. It, it's, a, it's a spectrum of, of different things that, that we look at. I mean, uh, obviously, you hear a lot about the new drugs, the treatments, but as I tell people, it's the age-old adage, uh, uh, ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So I think part of this is education, and education even of grade school, high school students in terms of the, uh, the, the benefits of not smoking, of, of a healthy lifestyle. Uh, it's prevention. Uh, we, we spoke about the Kentucky Leeds project about doing uh, lung cancer screening and being able to catch it at early stages. So it's, so it's really all of that continuum of, of care that, that we're doing now at the market and across the state. How do, you, how do you embrace a win when it comes to fighting cancer? Well, I, I, I've always been, and I think many cancer uh, investigators and cancer clinicians always see the glasses as half full. I mean, there are days, as you say, there are peaks and valleys. There, are, you become very emotionally attached to patients, and and when patients don't do as well, uh, then that becomes very emotionally draining. But but then you really get excited by by the wins, by seeing uh, a patient's cancer shrink, or or having a patient be in remission for many years from cancer. So that's that's what really keeps you going, and and the, the ability, the the new discovery that's going on, uh, is quite exciting to me. Uh, are are there other cancers? That that are uh, growing in some way exponentially uh, uh, in, in the population, whether it's Kentucky or the country or the nation for that matter. And the other side of that, are, are there now uh, uh, cancer research that can really identify um, cancers that, that may not be here in, in 10 years or 20 years uh, that are treatable rather than incurable? So, you know, I think that uh, there have been major, uh, major advances along those lines as well. I mean, the, the ability to catch, let's say, a breast cancer at a very early stage before it would even manifest as a palpable lesion five or six years down the road has been a tremendous advance. Uh, uh, the imaging equipment that we have now to, to, to find those cancers has, has greatly uh, impacted a, a number of cancers that, that we see as well.